Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about internet frauds and scams and how a website copyright infringement almost got it. So you're looking at an email which I received from an internet fraudster and if you take a look on the top, you're going to see a message but uh, in the first uh, a few hours I didn't have any message appearing with this email. So this email almost got me and at first, I opened this email on my mobile phone, and uh, if you take a look at the link on the mobile phone, actually, the link looked as a clickable link, which confused me even more. And uh, there's no message or anything, so the email looks very real, and it kind of looks like looks like that you know, uh, really, you are uh, copying someone's stuff, and they're really trying to you know warn you or sue you for copyright violation or copyright infringement so if you look at the email from top to bottom then you're going to see there are lots of you know uh, grammatical errors and the language is not professional so if someone is emailing you about co copyright violation or copyright uh, infringement then the first thing uh, to look for is that you know it has to be a professional email but this email is no way near professional and uh, the other thing that you know uh it says that download the link right now to check it out for yourself which is right here and in the past uh, i had to you know uh email website host for several persons who are copying my materials from amendon.com and whenever you're emailing someone you have to give them the exact page link you cannot just give them a site to download and you know match so that's another uh, warning sign that this is a, a fraud email so let's uh, look at the email from top to bottom so name mail turner and there's an email address and then why do you use my images for amendon.com without my permission it's unlawful this is a lawsuit against my rights you must replace them out right now and message hi there this is melanka i'm an and i'm a qualified photographer uh, discourage mildly speaking when i saw the images at your website uh, if you use a copyrighted image without an owner's approval you should know that you could be sued by the creator it is illegitimate to use the stolen images and it's so low see this document with the links to my images you used at ameddon.com and my our earlier publications to obtain the evidence of my ownership download it right now and check it for yourself so here look at the sentence download it right now and check it for yourself it's just like you know trying to uh, make you give you a sense of urgency or like you know rushing you to download this uh, images and from this link and another thing can get confused is just by looking at the link because this is actually a google drive link so you might think that this is a legit link and you can just go ahead and download and then here it mentions mentions that if you do not delete the images mentioned in the file above within the next couple of hours so again it's trying to like you know make things in rush and trying to give you a sense of urgency i'll file a complaint on you uh to your hosting provider and also uh notifying that you know my copyrights have been severely infringed and i'm trying to protect my intellectual property and if if it doesn't work uh, for damn sure i'm going to take it to the court and i will give you a prior notice again so here again try to make you scared uh, that you know you're going to do the court and uh, you the, the consequences can be very bad so the whole email is not professional and it's just trying to like you know uh, rushing you to click the link and uh, giving you a sense of urgency or you know making you do something right away so this thing should click in your mind that you know this is not a legit email and another thing that you know this message may not appear right away uh, for me it took a few hours for this message to show up and actually this message is giving you good information for example avoid clicking links uh, downloading attachments or replying with personal information so whenever you get an email or a scam or fraudulent email just like you know don't take any action based on what they're saying so just like you know uh read it a few times and discuss with uh, someone else if you are not even sure so when i got this email at first i was kind of like you know thought maybe i really you know took a picture from somewhere which was not 
you know, uh, copyright uh, free or maybe I really violated someone's copyright. But after reading it a few times, I looked at the language and the urgency or the sense of urgency and everything. Then I realized that this is a scam email. And then when I search uh, for online by putting, you know, taking a few uh, words from this email, then I font match that other people or other copyright website owners have been receiving the same email so what happens when you uh click on this link and download uh, the attachments or download the files then it installs like a you know, virus on your computer uh, if you have a good virus protection so most likely your virus uh, antivirus software is going to kill the files but if your antivirus uh, software fails then they're going to take over your computer and then you know they can uh look at your like you know all the personal information and basically from there you can lose uh you can be a violation of scam or identity theft or there can be various like you know bad things happening so never link uh click on any links or call anyone or reply back anyone with any personal information or if it just doesn't make sense that you know this is a really copyright violation so if you really have a copyright violation and if you're a website owner so you're going to get an email from your hosting company not from the person who is like you know claiming to be the owner that's how it works so if someone is like you know sending you an email and telling you that you know you are violating their copyright or you are stealing from their websites or from their photos or anything just don't listen to it and then like you know use your uh, judgment or use your common sense that you know uh, you should be getting the email from the hosting provider not the actual copyright owner so depending on where you live uh, just search online that you know how to report a scam in your country and there are several like you know government uh, authorities which are who are looking for uh, this type of situation so you can email them call them or you can even uh, notify your local police authority if you are a victim of fraud or if you have any scam or threats or internet uh, uh, frauds email or any type of you know a scam email or phone call you have received so i just wanted to share this with you and i have a few other scam emails which are and the link is going to be provided in the description box below thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you mm -hmm.